Let's get it started in here. And I'm Mr. Terrell, and this is the lesson on basic electricity through HVAC control. And how many people know what voltage is? Uh, describe voltage. Yes, sir. It's the pressure, right. And here's, here's a good example of how voltage, amperage, and resistance works in electricity. And when I saw this, all of a sudden it all became pretty clear. Voltage is like a lake of water, and the pressure of that lake is pushing out into, through, a, through a crack. And that becomes a stream. And as that, as that electricity flows down this stream, we have current, and that current is the same as amps. So, so we have voltage pressure, we have amperage is the current, and if it gets into a restricted space in a creek or a, or a uh, stream, we would consider that resistance. That resistance is trying to hold that water back, right? And so it's, it's forcing through that resistance. And in electricity, if, if you all know Ohm's law, Ohm's law looks like this, E over I R. And we're gonna, we're gonna forget that, that Ohm's law right now, and we're gonna use Terrell's law. Terrell's law says that, and, and electricians, this would be the same thing with electricians, if you've got a voltmeter, you're not gonna see E anywhere. So we're gonna, we're gonna forget E, you're not going to see I anywhere for amperage. So we're going to forget I, and you're not going to see, you're really not going to see R anywhere. We've got, we've got a symbol for ohms, and that is the resistance. That's the same as the resistance. We've got a symbol for A, which is amps, and amps is current, of course. And so I'm going to put the A over here, and we've got a V for voltage on there, okay? So this is what electricians use. So they're, and the law, Ohm's law works exactly the same way. But we're just gonna use the symbols that we're gonna be used to from now on for the rest of your lives working with electricity. Um, and in Ohm's law, if you remember, voltage divided by amps is gonna give you resistance. Voltage divided by the resistance is gonna give you the amperage. So if you know two of the three elements, you're gonna be able to find a third. To find voltage, if you know what the resistance is and you know what the current is or the amperage, you can, you can multiply them times each other and find the voltage, okay? Um, anybody remember what resistance is? How we, how we find resistance? Nestor? Okay, anybody else? Tristan? Right. <laughs> what is resistance? Some back pressure. Right. Resistance is showing you what the, what the resistance to flow is. If I touch these two leads, if I set this on ohms and I touch these two leads, that's a dead short. Okay, there's absolutely zero resistance. If I, put, if I put those same leads across this light bulb, which, which the power, the hot power comes in the bottom and the neutral is on the side, if I put those same leads on this light bulb, it is actually gonna have some resistance. It looks like about 28 ohms of resistance, okay? So that's, that's resistance. And any source, motors, lights, uh, coils, anything that uses electricity, or uses it, is a resistor. Okay, so from now on when I talk about resistors, just kind of picture that. <laughs>